good Saturday evening. Now, if you own a home, for sure you have something to do, right? Because everything falls down apart after some time. So today I'm going to share with you one issue that I have with my air conditioner. All right. Okay. Since my air conditioner is fixed inside uh, the bedroom, and the pipings, the copper pipings, need to go over the ceiling, the cornish ceiling out there where the compressor is there is condensation and the condensation uh, creates the humid in between the concrete ceiling and the cornish ceilings so the condensation water collects on top of the cornish and it starts to leak down here right so if, uh, to get rid of the humidity problem what i do is i install the ventilation fan Okay, as I've mentioned before, my air conditioner is installed inside the bedroom and I have no other choice but to run the copper pipings on top of the cornish ceiling over here and out to there and to the compressor which is up there if you can see it right but the setback of installing copper pipings on top of uh, cornish ceilings is that the humidity up there is different from the humidity down here in the bathroom. So what happens is the condensation water collects on top of there and it creates a leak right there. I have repaired that with silly putty. Okay, but if I repaired that and I didn't do anything with the condensation water on top of the cornice ceilings, it will happen again. So what I did was to install this ventilation fan to make sure that the temperature up there will be the same as down here. right? To install the ventilation fan, it's quite easy. I just use a hand hacksaw, make an 8 inch square hole and just fix it up there right so how about the power the power is joined to this light ceiling lights and it shared the same switch over here so it means that if I switch this off both the lights and the ventilation fan switch off and also the same when I switch it on Okay, I have two bathrooms. Okay, the other one is here. I've installed two ventilation fans. But for the first one, actually, I've installed this KDK 10 inch. All right, so I thought that the ceiling shed is shared with the next bathroom, but it is not. So I have to run again and buy one more ventilation fan. This is the first one, the KDK also connects the power to these lights over here and share it with this switch all right okay and then when i've installed this kdk and the kin the kin vf102 which is on the second bathroom i noticed that the noise level is different Okay, if you can hear the noise level of this KDK. Okay, can you hear that? Right, and let's compare it with the kin over here. Okay, listen. Okay, you can hear the difference between the noise between the KDK and the KIN, right? The KDK is much more noisier, the KIN is much more silent uh, and quieter. But the difference between the power of it is, here's the power of the KDK. If I open the door of the bathroom with the KDK ventilation fan still on, I can feel that it is sucking now it's very hard to close the door because of the 
vacuum that is created by the KDK fan alright but with uh, the Hin fan now the Hin is on and when I open up the door I cannot feel I didn't feel any resistance out of the vacuum that is created by the Hin fan so you have your pros and your cons right Okay, now as I've mentioned, we have your pros and cons, right? The KDK ventilation fan is much more noisier, but it creates more power in the vacuum. But for the kin, no, less noisy, it's quieter, but it creates less vacuum uh, strength, right? So it's up to you to choose, but for me, I will choose the kin one because it is much quieter and I don't need much of that vacuum strength in sucking all of the air inside the bathroom to the top of the ceiling. The most important thing is to have both of the temperature on top of the ceiling and at the bottom to be the same so that it will not collect humidity, it will not collect moisture and it will not leak the humidity water down under, right? So, that's it for today. Uh, choose the best choice for yourself. And I'll see you next time. Cheerio.